what's going on guys this is your boy true blue man i'm here showing you guys how to do the streamlabs theme setup so this is streamlabs obs one of the best softwares that you can actually use to broadcast your games on youtube twitch or my favorite mixer man so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to this tab that says themes okay now if you have not before i continue if you have not logged into your mixer your twitch or your youtube already click this button right here and do so so that way everything is saved to your um, account all right so first thing I'm gonna do is show y'all just really quick how powerful this system is so let's just start off by doing a simple search for uh, overlays and widgets so I typed in gun and as you can see there's four different ones that popped up that have gun in the title okay so I'm going to download redeemed gunslinger when you click on the icon this pops up right here in the right hand corner you see it says install overlay that's what you're gonna want to click and once you click that it'll you know take about five minutes everything will download once everything downloads go back to editor and then this is what it's gonna look like so this is the screen you get for starting soon which is freaking amazing I, I mean the fact that you can get this for free and it has animations already in it I mean look at that animation bro that animation is constant on loop and it's going to continue to run. That is super dope. Now, you see where it says stream starting soon? You can change that wording if you want. Double click. Let me uh, back out. So right here where it says starting, if you double click on that, right here where it has local file, you can actually go in there and edit that file and delete where it says starting soon and then change it up to have something else like, you know, Whatever you want to say that's witty, if that's what you want to do. On the live scene, this is your live scene here. So you have your username up here. So let's go over to username. If I can find it. I believe it's header. Double click it. And this is your, as you can see, this is your little headers animation. You can either turn that off. You can set it to where it doesn't loop or you can even speed it up. So that's when you speed it up. I'm actually going to speed it up. I like it looking like that. So then you go to header name to change the name. So right here where it says username, this little box will pop up that says text. And in it, you can put whatever you want. I'm going to put my mixer uh, username. And actually, I'm going to change the color of it to let's do like a light red. Then I'm going to center it. To center it, you just grab it, and then you can move it around with your mouse. How does that look? I need to go a little bit more to the left. I think that looks about good. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Now, to make it bigger, all you got to do is just click on the icon, and then these little arrows, you can make them come out or go in, depending on how you want to set it up. I just want to make this a tad bit bigger right there and i'm gonna settle this a little bit lower perfect okay so now i'm gonna go over every single one of these so this is your new follower right here so every time you get a new follower to your stream their name is going to pop up in this little box so for this particular um example i have coach lee 808 which is one of my my friends one of my, my buddies on uh, mixer make sure y'all go slap a follow for his channel as well but this um, is going to be your new follower. So you can double click on it and you can actually change the the look of it. You can change the color. So like, let me actually make these, let me make it white. So it's a little bit easier to read. So you see it says new follower, Coach Lee. Now, let's just say that, um, you know, for your followers, you... Um, Give me one, let me see. As you can see right here, once you click on this little drop down, you can change that new follower to any of these, and it is a ton. So let's just say this is your new follower, this is your new donation, right? Let's say you wanted to create one that was um, for mm, anything else. I can't think of anything, my brain is fried. So like, let's just say 
I'm gonna go down to this one's pretty dope this one's pretty dope like a donation train counter so every time that you get multiple donations in a row um, it'll actually set how many donations you got as far as like in your train counter it's pretty dope you can do a follower counter you can do a host train and so like for me whenever I get a host train going I always have an animation for a host train so if I get five hosts in a pretty quick succession it'll let me know and then I'll put up the animation for a host train you can do your top follower I mean your total followers you can do your most recent followers you can do um, the followers you gotten for this session alone so I'm gonna just do top followers and hit done and so as you can see it changed to one because I've only had one follower for this account now and this is my my twitch account so Let's go ahead and go to the next thing. This is your donations. Every time you get a donation, their name is gonna pop right here, right beside new donation. That's what these labels are right here. So webcam frame. The webcam frame is, you can either take it off or you can leave it. So the webcam frame is just going to be a frame around your webcam. So when you start your webcam, your webcam is going to show up right here in the center. And matter of fact, let me see if I can, I don't have my webcam on. Okay, no, it doesn't. So I don't have my webcam on, but when you turn your webcam on, your face is going to be right here in the center. So let's say you wanted to take that um, webcam frame and you wanted to move it over here. Then you would need to take your webcam and move it as well. Now, since my webcam is not up, you can't move it, but it would show up here. So the background, make sure you hide the background. You need to delete the background because the background is just to show you what your game layout could look like while you're playing a game. So this is what it's going to look like when you're not playing. I mean, when you, you know, when you have um, either a black screen or when you're in a loading screen and whatnot. So this is your overall layout. As you can see, it's very cool, has the smoke, is very dope. Now, let's get into your intermission screen this is awesome man bro it takes people forever to create these kind of graphics and make things look this nice for their stream but with streamlabs obs you can do it literally in a matter of seconds this is your intermission screen right here right here is going to be your intermission box you have a chat box right here so as everybody is typing in your stream it'll pop up actually on the um the screen itself you have your new donation, you have your new follower, um, and then this is your um, this is your, your webcam box right here. So for this little section right here, you can have anything you really want in it. For me personally, when I do an intermission, I'd rather have a video playing of my latest highlights on, uh, on repeat. And I'll have it in this box so that way while I'm stepping away from the screen, everyone still has something they can watch that hopefully they haven't seen before. And it kind of keeps entertainment going until you get back. Now, speaking of being right back, this is your be right back screen for this one. Again, very dope. Same animation as the starting uh, soon screen, but who's complaining, right? Very dope. Very cool. So again, this is your theme section on OBS Streamlabs. Now, when it comes to Streamlabs OBS, as far as your animations go, if you're scared that you're gonna have something that looks like everyone else's and you kinda you know, want to be unique, you can, trust me. There is tons. As you can see, it's page one of 39 complete overlays. It's tons of overlays. Not only that, but you can actually go to theme widgets or widget themes. Now, right here is going to change up your stuff even more. So, like, let's say, um, let's say for some reason, some weird reason, I am a Fortnite fan, right? And as a Fortnite fan, I want to, I want to have my alert box Fortnite-ish, okay? Let me do the test widgets. Let me test. And as you see, that's my widget now for when I get a follower. That is awesome, bro. That is awesome. Let me see your subscription. 
Okay, so it's the same thing throughout, throughout. It's just a chest that opens up that kind of looks like a Fortnite chest. That's pretty cool. So, guys, once again, this has been a tutorial really quickly on how to actually install a theme for OBS Streamlabs. Now, I'm going to make more videos coming up on how to actually go into it and get into the actual meat and potatoes of Streamlabs OBS and change up some of the settings and make sure everything works for your particular internet stream. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and also go check out my Mixer channel, man. It's mixer.com forward slash true blue the goat. That is it. That is all. Y'all have a good one.